What's up internet? In this video, I'll talk about optical character recognition and I'll be using Python for programming language. All right, I found two popular tools. First one is Tesseract, it's extremely popular. They have 38K stars and I believe it's developed by Google. Um, you'll find so many videos about Tesseract on YouTube, um, but Almost, you know, all of them, they're, uh, they're using huge characters uh, with, uh, you know, high resolution images. Um, for them, it's working, but when I try it personally, uh, it's not that accurate. I'll show you why. But if you want to download it, I'll put the link in the description for downloads page. Uh, there are binaries available. For Linux people, I believe uh, um, it's probably available in the default repository. So use the package manager at least on Arch Linux it's available and make sure to install the language package as well for example if you want to install um, English language package or you if you want to detect uh, English language you need to install this one so the next tool is is OCR this is extremely new um, I believe it's from 2020 April or something but they have 10k stars within a year it's insane yeah, i believe uh, this will be the most popular ocr library in few years um when i tried that one it it was kind of slow but i saw somewhere in in one of their tickets or roadmap or something like that that they are going to improve uh, the uh, the performance of this one so that's there now let's jump into an example I'll be using a screenshot of uh, this uh, Facebook login page. I have it right here. And this is the one. So let's use Tesseract to extract character information. Um, once you have the binary, you can call it directly. You don't need Python. But if you want to use it within Python, uh, you can install PyTesseract. Uh, it exports a bunch of APIs using the uh, you know executable now let's do let's pass the image then the output file name and it's done it's extremely fast i'll open the output file now let's compare it with uh, against the web page itself um, you can see this is incorrect we should be create new account right here and um, this should be sign up i believe uh, then this should be Facebook Lite and uh, this should be watch as you can see there are you know uh, little mistakes here and there um, the, you cannot rely on something like this if your if your application is some somewhat serious application so let's try easy OCR um, I'll install virtual environment because I don't want to install these packages globally I'll do sudo pip install virtual env and I already have installed that one so that's why I'm getting this message requirement already satisfied okay now let's create a virtual environment I'll do um, let's do python dash m v e n v the module then uh, the directory name should be e n v it's i mean i'm gonna call it e n v so right now we have e n v directory now i'm going to activate the environment i'll do source e n v bin i should find uh, a, a um script called activate and we are in the virtual environment as you can see the prompt has changed now let's install uh, ecocr i'll do pip install ecocr this is going to install it within the directory or locally in the project and we are done so now let's create um, a python script i'll do and then index.py first i will inst uh, import 
is your ZR. Then um, I'm going to use ECOCR to get a reader. I'll call, a, uh, call the variable reader ECOCR reader. You can pass an array of uh, languages. I'm going to pass English, EN for English. Then I'm going to read uh, data from uh, the reader. I'll call the variable data, then reader.read text then you can pass the image the image is img.png then let's read data I'll, I'll import pretty print to print an array or list in python let's create a um, pretty printer p print i think it's pretty printer I'll pass indent um, for four spaces, then pp dot p print. Then we can pass data, but uh, I want to extract the string itself because uh, it's um, data contains all the bounding boxes and everything. I want to extract them, so let's do uh, let's create an array and let's create indexes of text minus two for uh, text in data so let me explain data contains a, a, a 2d list so from the 2d list i'm going to get uh, an index this is going to be again a list so from the list i'm going to take the um, the index before the last index all the other uh, elements contains xy coordinates for points uh, of, of bounding boxes so i believe this should print what we want i'll save and quit and let's execute python um, index.py let me actually um, add time for sorry time for the script so we can see how it how long it, it's taking and we are done uh, within 11 seconds so let's uh, go through the result as you can see we have pretty much I believe everything correct yeah I believe so um and it's you know dividing all the you know uh, word uh, words and sentences into different uh, different uh, elements in an in an array so this is the result and that's how we would use ecocr um, it's in my experience it's uh, far better than tesseract uh, I, I wouldn't be using tesseract for any of my applications so um i believe uh, they, they deserve um, 10k within a year it's extremely good uh, um, tool and if you happen to have a github account just make sure to hit star um, so this is it i believe thanks for watching have a nice day